We've done many films where, independent films, where we just done real style filmmaking. Keep in mind, this is post 9-11. So we were so eager, we just jumped in the car with our equipment. Old school filmmaker mindset, fuck the rules. You know, if you're filming a $500 short, you can't afford $600 to $1,000 in permits, you know, for, for a one day shoot. Now at the time, we could have been fined uh, $18,000 a day for every day of shooting. Luckily, she was able to make a phone, few phone calls and get uh, and get the fine squashed, which would have been about eighty thousand dollars, which was more than the budget of our film. It got so bad that all of my income, after paying rent and other bills, was going towards debt. Look, anybody that can pull off a movie, as far as I'm yeah, concerned, yeah. is a, a good, really great person. It's tough to manage a bunch of personalities, and it's just very hard. It's very hard to complete a film. Not a lot of people do it. Didn't give a thought in the world about permission or how dangerous the situation could be. Um, we're shooting a, a scene in my apartment, and we get a little knock on the door, and it's three police detectives. And here comes this military jeep with an armed officer standing up and his guns are drawn on us. If you really want to be a real filmmaker and have your own voice, then indie is the way to go, because it gives you a lot of freedom. I've worked on many low-budget films. Bottom line is, is that it takes money to make a movie. It takes money to do anything. If you want to open a restaurant, you need money. It's not like anybody can't do it, but very few actually do wind up doing it. We're like astronauts. There's only a certain amount of us. 